Previously, we saw that certain mechanical quantities that describe an event or an object are relative, and two examples are time and length. Now, what that basically means is time and length are quantities that are different in different inertial reference frames. So, for example, if we have a stationary inertial reference frame, let's suppose the Earth, and we have a moving reference frame, let's suppose a spaceship that is moving with some very high constant velocity, the length of an object or the time elapsed for an event within those two two inertial reference frames will be different. So that is known as time dilation and length contraction. And these quantities are known as relativistic quantities. Now momentum is yet another relativistic quantity that needs to be modified when we're discussing objects or reference frames that are moving with very high velocities. So let's suppose we have an object with a mass m that is traveling with a very high velocity v and c is the speed of light in a vacuum. Now because the object has a very high velocity, the momentum of that object given by P, which is also known as the relativistic momentum, is given by the following equation. So m times v divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared divided by c squared. So this is known as the relativistic momentum equation. Now notice, if the speed of light c is much greater than the velocity of that object. For example, if v is 10 meters per second, then we see that this ratio inside the radical v squared divided by c squared is approximately equal to zero. It's equal to a very small number. So we can approximate this to be zero. And one minus a very small number gives us about one. And the square root of one is one. So we see that if this condition is in fact satisfied, if the velocity of the object is much smaller than the velocity of light in a vacuum C, then P is approximately equal to mv divided by one or simply m multiplied by v. And this is is exactly our linear momentum equation that describes the momentum of a macroscopic object, an object that is moving with a very low velocity. So if the velocity of the object is very small, much smaller than c, we can use this equation, but if the velocity of our object is very high, then we must apply the relativistic momentum, as we'll see in the following example. So, inside a television set, we have electrons that are moving with very high velocities, about 5 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. So, in part A, if the mass of the electron is given 9.11 times 10 to negative 31 kilograms, find the momentum of our electron. So we apply this equation, we plug in our values, and we get about 4.82 times 10 to negative 23 kilograms multiplied by meter divided by seconds. Now let's move on to part B. If the electron's velocity is increased by, let's suppose, some type of electron accelerator to a velocity of 96% of the velocity of light, find the new momentum of this electron. So once again, we use our relativistic momentum equation because the velocity is very high. So we plug in our values and we see that the momentum of this electron is about 4.27 times 10 to negative 20 kilograms multiplied by meters divided by seconds.